My remarks are in two parts. First, to the family of President M. Russell Ballard from the First Presidency. We extend to you our heartfelt condolences at the passing of our dear friend and associate, President M. Russell Ballard, a truly remarkable man, husband, father, grandfather, and esteemed apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ. He leaves to you, his posterity, a legacy of enduring faith and commitment to the gospel of Jesus Christ. As was his hope, he passed from this life into the next with his testimony burning brightly. As the great-great-grandson of Hiram Smith, President Ballard had a tangible connection to the prophet Joseph Smith. That connection inspired him throughout his life. It would be impossible to measure President Ballard's impact for good during his sojourn in mortality. As a young missionary to Great Britain, as a mission president in Toronto, and as a general authority, he has traversed the globe many times, teaching and testifying of Jesus Christ and the restoration of his gospel. He has been a courageous warrior for truth. President Ballard was a gifted leader. His zeal for missionary work is legendary, and he led out in developing the original version of Preach My Gospel. His thoughtful, contemplative nature was a blessing to the Council of the First Presidency and Quorum of the Twelve Apostles. His tremendous energy and delightful sense of humor will be greatly missed by all who had the privilege of associating with him. In his final conference address, President Ballard said to members of the Church, Oh, how I love you! What a glorious experience it has been to look into your faces, to be in your presence, and to feel your love that you have for the Lord and for the restoration of the gospel of Jesus Christ, to which we now respond. Oh, how we love President Ballard. How glorious it has been to associate with him, to be inspired by his loving care for his beloved Barbara, to hear his resounding witness of the Lord Jesus Christ. Until we meet again, dear friend and brother, we thank you for a lifetime of tireless service, inspired teaching, and genuine kindness. May we strive to follow your extraordinary example as a covenant-keeping disciple of Jesus Christ. May you, his loved ones, receive a blessing of comfort at this tender time of parting. With our love and warm regards, Russell M. Nelson, Dallin H. Oaks, Henry B. Eyring, the First Presidency. <clears throat> In addition to that letter from the First Presidency to the Ballard family, I am privileged to add something about M. Russell Ballard from each member of the First Presidency to the members of the Church. President Ballard and I sat beside one another in the meetings of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles for almost 33 years. President Eyring knew President Ballard intimately for about 40 years. President Nelson knew President Ballard longer than either one of us. Each of us loved this man. We were inspired by his fervent testimony. We learned from his many great leadership qualities, and we were blessed by his influence throughout the Church. He has been an exemplary leader of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles during his many years in that capacity. We will miss him. The other leaders of the Church will miss him. Our missionaries 
will miss him. The members of the church will miss him. Fortunately, our loss is a gain for innumerable loved ones and leaders who are greeting him on the other side of the veil. There and here, his influence for righteousness is and will be profound and permanent. We bid him an affectionate farewell for now. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.